How's it going, guys? It is 12.15 a.m., 11th of December here in Japan, and we have a past level question for step one pathology, as well as a gimme question for 2CK IM. So before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give the video a like. I really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L man underscore medical. Links down below. Find me on Telegram. Links to the Telegram group and channel are down below and I start the clip. So 60-year-old man comes to the physician for a six-month history of mild reproductive cough and dyspnea. 60-year-old woman. Okay, not man, 60 year old woman. Vitals are within normal limits. BMI is 24. Chest x ray shows a density in the right hyalur region. Lung biopsy shows round cells twice the size of lymphocytes that have neither squamous nor glandular morphology. Question wants to know what's most likely to be seen as patient. So let's just whip through the answer choice here. Choice A, hypercalcemia, wrong fucking answer. This would be seen with squamous cell carcinoma due to PTHRP secretion, which we clearly uh, don't have squamous because that doesn't match the morphology here, all right? So we could see squamous pearls, keratin pearls, they're pink circles, eosinophilic means pink, so you get eosinophilic circles and biopsy or intercellular bridges, that's squamous morphology. Uh, endogenous PTH would be suppressed in the setting of squamous cell carcinoma lung screen PTHRP because PTHRP is not the same as PTH, okay? High calcium, low phosphate in that case. Wrong fucking answer. Choice B, hyperphosphatemia, wrong answer. So this would be unrelated to any of the lung cancers, but you could be aware of renal failure. That's a high yield cause of hyperphosphatemia. Secondary hyperparathyroidism, where you have low calcium, high phosphate, High potassium, sodium is variable, low bicarb, low pH, high anion gap. Okay, it's mud piles. It's the U. Uremia means renal failure. So U in mud piles. Could also be tumor lysis syndrome in contrast. In this case, wrong fucking answer. Choice C, hypocalcemia, wrong answer. Also doesn't relate to the lung cancers. I mean, some high yield cause on US simile could be recent thyroid surgery, okay, because we removed the parathyroids as well, so PTH is down, therefore calcium's down. Could be the George syndrome, 22Q11 deletion, where you have agenesis of the third and fourth pharyngeal pouches, so we don't have the parathyroids to the thymus, so hypocalcemia in that case. Wrong fucking answer. Choice D, hypokalemia, wrong answer, which could be seen in squamous cell, sorry, in small cell carcinoma of the lung, if we were to have Cushing syndrome, okay? So small cell carcinoma can secrete ACTH. And in Cushing syndrome, chronically elevated glucocorticoid levels can lead to hypokalemia. That's a high yield factoid. If you've gone through my audio cue bank here on the YouTube, you'll see I've mentioned this probably like four or five times, okay? Where they can give you a big fucking paragraph in the Yosemite. It's just classic Cushing's, okay, buffalo hump, moon facies, purple striae, central obesity. And they'll just say in the last line, potassium's three, normal range 3.5 to five. They'll just say potassium's three. And then I see the student being like, ooh, is like aldosterone high or something? No, it's just, you can get a uh, partial mineralocorticoid effect, especially when you've got a high uh, chronically elevated glucocorticoid levels, okay? So you can get hypokalemia in small cell carcinoma of the lung. You technically can. This is small cell, as, as, as I'll explain in a second. But this patient clearly isn't Cushing based on any information in the vignette, and the BMI is 24, okay? So our correct answer is hyponatremia, which in small cell, you say, but wait, We've got these round cells that are twice the size of lymphocytes. All right, well, don't take it up with me. This is what's on the NBME exam. You need to know they're uh, basophilic, which means purple, basophilic, small round cells, but they can be assholes and they can describe them as twice the size of lymphocytes. But even if you didn't know that, there's, a, there's some other ways to get to the diagnosis of small cell here. The first way is we have a hyler, uh, a hyler lesion. Okay, so it's central. That's what that means. So the two types of lung cancers that start with s. Okay, so central, small cell, squamous cell. Okay, those are the ones that are central, hyler. Well, we've eliminated squamous cell because we don't have that morphology here, so we're left with small cell. Okay, now also we can eliminate adenocarcinoma because because that's what glandular refers to. Okay, adenocarcinoma means a cancer of glands. That's basically the association. So we can eliminate that. 
large cell and adenocarcinoma will not be central. I already said central is going to be small cell or squamous cell. So I've never seen large cell carcinoma assessed on any NBME content for steps one or two combined. Okay, absolute garbage diagnosis. So small cell uh, lung cancer can secrete ACE TH, as I said before, causing uh, Cushing syndrome, which is not the case here. It can be SIADH, which is what we have here. All right, so SIADH, ADH secretion being too high, uh, that can cause hyponatremia. Okay, ADH inserts aquaporins, the medullary collecting duct of the kidney, increases free water reabsorption. Uh, you can also get small cell secreting uh, or causing lambert syndrome due to the secretion of uh, antibodies against presynaptic voltage-gated calcium channels. All right? You can also get small cell cerebellar dysfunction due to production of anti-HU, H-U, and anti-YO, Y-O antibodies. Okay, So your short point of consolidation for this clip is that you need to know the perineal plastics for squamous cell as well as small cell, squamous cell being PTHRP with hypercalcemia, low phosphate, then for small cell, Cushing's, SIDH, lambert eaton and cerebellar dysfunction, all right? And the central lesions, sound, is squamous cell and small cell. You know the deal to make more content if you like my stuff, subscribe my channel, and I appreciate your time. That's it.